Hello everybody, today I want to show you MIDI Brains, uh, which I've installed in these two pedals uh, and my uh, amp over there. And what MIDI Brains does is it allows you to give your devices MIDI control. So it's very small, it's actually inside these pedals, uh, so everything's internal, there's no extra you know, stuff in boxes and you know, loop pedals, any of that nonsense. So it's very compact, uh, you can daisy chain the MIDI line using just 3.5 millimeter uh, cables, so it's very compact. Uh, in this video, I wanted to show you how easy it is, though, to uh, program these pedals to respond to any PC message on any MIDI channel that you want. So to do that, you got to enter MIDI Learn Mode, so you just power it on, and within one second, press the foot switch, and you can see it's in MIDI Learn Mode, the LED will keep blinking. And right now, it's just waiting for a MIDI message, a PC message, uh, that you want this pedal to respond to for its off state. Um, and then you set the MIDI channel you want it to be on, so it can be anything. So... Uh, right now, uh, I have this button on the little giant here uh, to send that pedal. It's off PC message. So you just push it. Uh, it's sent. And uh, to save it, all you do is exit MIDI learn mode. So you push the button again, and the pedal will go back to run mode. So you can turn it on and off just like any other pedal. But now you can also control it with the MIDI controller, as you can see there. Okay, so we can do this to the OCD real quick. Enter MIDI learn mode. I want that to be on button 7. Send the message, exit MIDI learn mode, and save it. So it's in run mode now, and you can see that now button 7 controls OCD. So uh, it's pretty cool, uh, real easy to set up. The real power, though, comes in when uh, you need to turn on more than one pedal at once, and that's kind of the whole point of this. You know, if you have pedals all over your board, you want all different configurations of them to turn on at once. You don't have enough feet, um, and you want it to be very precise. And so to do that, you make just patches on your MIDI controller. So right now I have two patches, uh, you know, that, that I use these a lot with. Uh, and so this is the distortion patch, and this one it's on now is the clean patch. And so that just sends multiple MIDI messages out. And right now the distortion patch is going to turn on these two devices, which are my overdrive uh, and distortion setting, and channel two of the box with MIDI brains. And then the clean channel will turn these guys off and set the box over there to... Uh, it's channel one uh, state. So you can see right now, if I back this out here, it's my high quality zoom, you can see that the distortion turns both of the pedals on and then the, the clean turns both of them off. So, you know, just uh, one button press and you can do as many uh, devices as you want, really. I uh, just keep daisy chaining them with uh, you know, the MIDI cables there um, and go nuts. So you can read more about this uh, on my website, it's uh, rabbitelephant.com. Uh, and you can check out MIDI Brains and see if it's something you're interested in. So we'll see you later.